Hello. I have a hazy double IPA in a 500 milliliter bottle. Pretty weird. It's double dry hop pseudo stew. All right, this, does it even say? Yep, 500 milliliters. I guess since this one's special, they don't put it in 22s. Um, I don't even know if they really do much, many 22s at all anymore. A top and Goliath, that used to be what they do with a lot of their beers. So I've had King Sue before. Um, it's great. Uh, I've only had it, I don't know, maybe four times or so. <clears throat> it's available all over the place now. Maybe I should uh, try it again. But this is the first time they sent Double Dry Up King Sue here. And it's, it's the batch from January 12th, so that means it is oh, about it's less than three weeks old a little bit. I think it's 7.8% alcohol. Doesn't even say on here. So I'm expecting it to be pretty good, but the first time I had King Sue from a 22 ounce bomber, that one was like extremely hazy and intense and, you know, didn't seem like it needed any more dry hopping, but this, oh boy, getting a big aroma the second I opened this bottle. I guess the main fear is that it will be throat burn, throat burn, hot burn, chalkiness. And yeah, that's a, a very f fast popping head. That's not going to stick around too long. Oh, I'm seeing some chunks in there. Hmm, interesting. I guess this bottle maybe, I just bought it today, maybe got a little shaken up in transit, but it's completely total, totally hazy, opaque, quite pale. Um, but pretty good looking. The head's actually not dying too fast but yeah it kind of is popping real fast it's not going to be a thick and rich creamy head but with something this intensely dry hopped it seems like it's hard to do that though treehouse pulls it off often <sighs> and that's just really good just really really big on the mango what do they say mango orange pineapple yeah it's extremely fruity it smells very very good i can sense there might be a little bit of a of a chalkiness but surprisingly there isn't much um like leafy raw hop hop bag type stuff happening which i noticed a lot in double dry hopped oj um from lone pine wasn't a huge fan of that one actually it might also be their yeast characteristics or just, or the overall process just didn't work out perfectly. But this one, it smells really clean. I'm not getting a lot of yeast esters. There's a hint of, you know, sort of juicy fruit, bubblegum stuff, but it's mostly just pure unadulterated citra. I believe this is single hop citra. And I love that. It just <clears throat> smells good. It reminds me, I guess, of some of the better sit uh like special citra double ipas and triple ipas from trillium and like even though there's a lot of popping and the head is sticking around for a while maybe it's really carbonated i can't tell because it's just completely completely murk in there but i love that smell mm-hmm very, very nice. Definitely some chalkiness. Not too much. But it's going to build up and burn a little bit. Maybe I'll let my other bottle sit for a little bit. <clears throat> but it's just so clean. Some spiciness comes in the finish, but it's just really clean, straight up citra. And I love that. Mm. Really full, thick mouthfeel. Pretty soft, but it is spicy, prickly, chalky. Has that stuff in it that makes it a little bit difficult. Um, not difficult to drink, but not a purely pleasant experience. It's gonna, it's gonna smack you. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm getting some, some like polyphenol type bitterness that's just from 
insane amounts of antioxidant polyphenols. That's what creates the hot burn for the most part. That's what people think um, bound to the protein molecules, creating the haze. But it's a kind of bitterness that isn't your traditional boiled hop alpha acid bitterness um, that you know makes that just like intense hot burn that people talk about. But I've had very few beers that can bring that intense intensity of flavor and hoppiness without having there be some burn. Well, this is kind of a stipper, but it's it's explosive. <laughs> like, I guess you don't want two twenty twenty two ounces of this this stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like now it's really <clears throat> it's getting really herbal on the tongue after a few sips of this. Yeah, it's not it's not quite as bright and fruity. It's still really fruity. And now it's more like really juicy orange grapefruit, I would say. Um with some like, I don't know, pineapples and and weed and mango blended up, poured in there or something like that. Yeah, the dankness comes in more on the palate as you drink it. It's not big on the on the nose. Yeah. And this, I feel like there's just no, this is not messed up at all. <clears throat> this is exactly what this beer is intended to be. And it's really nice. It's, it deserves a four and, four and a half plus. <clears throat> it's just a bit much. I should get um, regular King Sue and see how that compares. But wow, <sighs> it's like a little taxing on the palate how intense it is. This is not a Treehouse style uh, double IPA. Even their most in intensely dry hop beers that I've had from them were just like <laughs> palatable still. Um, I've had some off batches from them. I've had some off batches from Toppling Goliath, honestly, but I just love how their yeast is super clean. It's just, you can really just enjoy, enjoy the, the straight up hop. Um, <clears throat> this might be available more in the area. A few places got it. I feel like there'll be more places in um, the Boston area that'll get it. Um, the first week of February. And it's worth, it's worth grabbing a bottle, I would say. Especially if you like clean, citrate in your face, intense beers, if you like King Sue and some of the more rare um, Trillium beers, give it a try. Bye-bye.